Well, first of all, um, interestingly enough, what I'm seeing through all this is an evisceration of, of the network of our community, which is not a good thing. But the other thing that I'm seeing, which is actually quite hopeful, is the evisceration of, of political and partisan lines. That, those days are over. I now sit around a dining room table with people I could never have sat around a dining room table two months ago and have talks where we are literally on the same page, whether they voted for Trump, they're religious, they're not, they're a witch, they're environmentalists, it doesn't matter. This is the game changer. All of a sudden, and, and Pam really hits upon this a lot, it's, it, it comes down to, are you planning on vaccinating us or not, right? I mean, where do you really stand? And, and that's where we are now coming together. So I have to say, this divide and conquer has been successful so far, but it's okay because what we're gonna do is an Aikido move, right? You can go ahead and you can destroy us, but we're gonna grow out of that, that topsoil and we're gonna be something else more extraordinary. We are going to evolve into the next, the next level. And so what's happening right now is we see people who are masked and afraid and they're separated, right? And they think they're all by themselves. And those of us who are fighting the good fight think that we have to go out there and convince everybody, right? That we, we have to rise up and push back which is, would be a Herculean effort. Well, we don't have to do that. We have to remember, right, that in order to even topple a dictator, to be so successful in the civil war or civil rights movement, all you need is 3.5% of active participation. 3.5%. That's all that were involved in the civil war in America. In little Nevada City, that's 109 people. California, that's about 1.1 million people. In America, that's just over 11 million people. Active participation and we can change this around. Now what's happening is that we're all in our little rafts and we're bobbing out in the ocean just like crazy, right? And we're just being flipped over by the waves. But what's happening here on this screen right now is that we are in our individual rafts and we are literally reaching out to one another around the world. And we are creating the most remarkable, resilient flotilla of rafts you have ever seen. I have never seen what's happening on the screen right now. I've never seen this take place before. I'm sure they're shaking in their pants because this is just the beginning, right? So we have that. Now, one of the things I've been thinking about, and you're kind of hitting upon this, Robert, you know, is this, this, this movement, right? We need, we need to create a movement. And one of the things that I was doing a couple of weeks ago is I stepped down uh, before I started my third term as a council member and saying, look, I'm not stepping down. You know, I'm, I'm stepping down so I can step up. Right? I'm, I'm going to up my game. That's why I'm not, I'm not going away. And I think we need to actually have a, a type of movement like that where we're basically saying, look, at, step down, whatever position you're in right now, just sit there for a moment, look at your heart, whatever position you're in right now, where is it that you're being compromised? Was, is it your job? Is it your board? Is it your church? Is it your family? Where is it that you're being so compromised you can't speak to truth? And wherever you are in that place where you have, you have to lie to yourself and lie to the, mm -hmm. the ones around you can you step away from that and if you step away from that then can you step into truth and then step into maybe a higher position like run for an elected position or go for a different job where you're fighting the good fight but how can we all step down in order we can step up and and i think we have to start challenging people and this is the thing is the me too movement was very very successful people were willing to talk about their darkest truths right mm -hmm. of being victimized of those who victimize others because we, we knew we were backed up, right? We weren't alone. And that's where we are coming in right now. We're letting people know, we know you're behind the mask. We know you're afraid. We know you think you're, you've been divided and conquered, but that is just not the case. There's millions of people just like you. And that's what we're going to be shining a light on. So I think it's really, really important. And lastly, I read a book many years ago called Power Versus Force. Have anyone heard that? Power Versus Force is power over versus the force within. And they had done kinesiology and they'd done these testing around the world. They created this, this uh, energetic, um, uh, what is it? A scale from zero to a thousand where the lowest, the lowest emotional level that you can be at is not anger, is not jealousy, but it's shame and guilt. Mm -hmm. And the pedophile ring, in my opinion, has been ensuring before you even get out of the crib, you are in a place of shame and guilt for the rest of your life and you are owned. You are controlled and you are manipulated because if you cannot love yourself, how can you possibly love anything else, right? And that's right. what they've been doing because yeah. I am a nine year sexual 
abuse survivor as a child. So when I look at Joe Biden uh, and I see the, the look of horror in the little girl's faces around him, I know exactly what's going on without having to see what his hands are doing exactly. And this is what we've been set up to be is in a, in, in a world of, ga of, of shame and guilt. So we can be controlled because what I'm seeing happening around me, my beloved community, we, that shame and guilt is being activated. I can't love myself, I can't love anything else. Well, interestingly enough, in this scale, emotional scale of zero to a thousand, it's when you get to anger, right? Because like zero to 200 is kind of uh, in the negative realm. But when you get to, 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 to anger, that's when you bump up into courage. And now you're on this exponential scale, right? And ultimately, the highest emotional, emotional energetic level of all is truth. Truth trumps all. So you can sit there and go, oh, we're way out here and we're, we're in the lies and the deception. Yeah, you're, you're right. But truth is a magnet and it is a matter of time. And let me tell you right now, what I'm seeing is a snap. I'm seeing the snap going right back to truth because people are done with this and they're tired of being in the shame and the guilt and hating themselves and not being able to forgive themselves because they don't know that they were groomed and, and, and compromised before they could even get out of the crib. And that's what Robert's calling out, Sasha. That's what you're calling out, David. That's what you're calling out. And that those days are over. So I would really encourage that we find that hashtag would step down, step up, something we say to people, just like the Me Too movement, now is your time to speak to truth, call out the atrocities, call out the crimes against humanity. And when you do it, you're gonna be backed up by millions and millions of other people, billions actually, who are in the exact same position as you. And we have your back. That's what people want, Sasha. More than anything in this world, we just wanna know no matter what, if I fall, I falter, I fail, I just wanna know that somebody has my back mm. and that's where we all come in.